Looks like one of those paintings you see in churches up there. That's beautiful. The Lord is smiling down on us this morning. Well, good afternoon, boys and girls. Ken Smith, Ken Smith Fishing, here on beautiful Sam River, which is tough right now. So it's uh, it's Wednesday morning. I came out and fished. It's 10:39, so I fished about three and a half hours this morning, four hours, I guess. Um, by the way, so yesterday I wanted to show y'all how to find brush piles with uh, with side image, and I haven't counted recently, but I think I have about 260 videos that I've posted in the last several years and very seldom do you do what I did yesterday which is say all right there's one right there and throw over there and, there and don't catch a good one and that happened for me yesterday so let's jump over and uh, take a quick lesson on how to find fish uh, both with a uh, with the 360 and the side image because I find it with the side imaging and then I make the correct cast with the 360 so check this out Okay, I'm going to show you how to find a brush pile with your side scan, and I'm going to try to show you how to catch fish out of one, but who knows if these fish will cooperate or not. But uh, I've dropped a, a buoy on one I found a minute ago to make this a whole lot faster. But I'm going to show you what it looks like with the side scan, and I'm going to go right over the top of it. So we're coming to it with the side scan. There you can see it showing up right there. You see that? It's all lit up. It's got all kind of bait and stuff inside that tree. And there you see it right there. I think I just probably caught the edge of it. So let's make a little closer aisle right over the top of it. Let's see if we can't blow it up so we can see it. So that's a stump. You can see a shot actually of a tree probably. So let's turn around and I'm going to line up with the 360 system and uh, we'll try to catch fish out of that brush pile. Here we go.
little better. Just a long, deep brush pile fish. I'll show you what I'm looking at. Those guys think that the 360 just shoots perfect images. And you can see that's that brush pile right there. So what I was doing is I'm just throwing, I knew where the front of the boat was and I was working back and forth and I had turned the boat and thrown into that brush pile. And that's where that bite was. Okay, so I only fished for about an hour and a half yesterday. I don't, actually, I think that may have been my only bite. If not, I'll, I, stick, I stuck it in there with that other one, but I think that was probably my only bite. Mostly what I was doing was out marking new brush piles. I came out today and I went south and I went grass fishing. And it was, I mean, Rayburn's tough right now. I'm gonna do something different tomorrow just to get some bites. But I'll tell you, if you've got stuff to do around the house right now, this may be the weekend to stay around the house. Or actually, you know what? Uh, I think the richest bass tournament in the world, according to what they advertise, is Bass Champs on, uh, on Fork this weekend. So uh, I, I wanna call it Mega Bass. I hope that's right. But that huge Bass Champs tournament's up there. And, if you're going to be out of here burning up in the heat, why not try to win a whole bunch of money with one bite? So, Rayburn's tough, and you can tell it's tough because I can see the uh, boat ramp right now, the Umphrey's boat ramp, and there's four boats, four trailers parked up there, and one of them's mine. So, it's just tough right now. Uh, I can't get bit shallow, so I started out shallow this morning, and I caught this one little swim bait fish. for what I'm trying to catch on that great big bait, but that's a start for the morning. Little guy on the speedway. He nuked it. He was hungry. So that was on that speedway, uh, six cent speedway. And then I went over and uh, fished around. I did. A, I really wanted to get on a frog bite. Uh, and it's right to be a frog bite. There's, there's. I fished up in uh, in the Harvey Creek area and over in the mud area and uh, it's beautiful it looks right there's bait up in that stuff but they're either just not biting or they're not up there because I had two or maybe three swirls on a frog and I caught this one right here Miss my frog, pitch my little black blue Cinco in there, and bonk. Good, good little fish. fish that size when he rolls on a frog he'll get it but I would guess that's the same fish solid fish with these cloudy days it's fun to throw a frog very nice very nice Dunk. Bird dogged him with the frog and caught him with the Cinco. And 
so then I came back out just to check one of my brush piles that I had found yesterday and uh, I pulled up on it and uh, you'll see I'm monkeying with my with trying to get my 360 reading because you've got to constantly tinker with the settings on it based upon how the water set up of course the sun angles and stuff and by water I mean you know how much particulate is in the water so how dirty the water is uh, and how deep you're fishing as well so I was monkeying with that and this happened tell you that fish whacked it I thought that was gonna be a great big one he's not even hooked in the mouth look at that so I pulled up on my brush pile here and uh, you know when you're this the, the uh, The 360 imaging is not just turning on and forget it. You constantly got to be tinkering with it, uh, with contrast and with sensitivity. Ooh, ding me up. And uh, so you saw me hit spot lock there, and I couldn't see the brush pile real good, so I was squatting down to uh, change up my sensitivity a little bit and the contrast. And that one whacked it. I got lucky. I, you never catch that fish on tournament day because. Uh, <laughs> Uh, because on tournament day, I, you know, I never had him caught up with. He probably comes off. Out here goofing off, he stays on. So that is on a Mr. Twister Hang 10. It's a little worm that I throw quite a bit. That, you know, I throw so many different things. I don't talk about all of them all the time. But uh, I really like that bait. It's got a big bulky head. It's got that big long ribbon tail. And... If you go back and watch my, some of my old videos, one of the very first bass I ever saw get caught on an artificial lure was my Uncle Deb. Uncle Deb tied on an original Mr. 20 years ago, threw it out in a pond and set his rod down and cracked open what was probably a Schlitz beer and caught a three pounder. It's pretty cool. So I'll tell you, if I had a tournament tomorrow, I, Number one, I probably would not want to fish it, but I would just go brush pile fishing. I mean, it's it's a long, slow day, but it seems to be the only place I'm catching any or seeing any quality fish. Uh, I talked to two different guys this morning on the water, and there's not many of us, so we're kind of all chatting. And one of them had one bite, and one of them had no bites. So it's tough. I talked to Dickie. He fished uh, one day in the last four or five and said he didn't really catch. I, I, he may have said he didn't have a bite. So again, Rayburn's tough right now. I'm gonna go do something different tomorrow or Friday. Probably Friday's the next time I'm gonna get out and I'll get some more footage up for you guys. But I'm gonna try to go find somewhere where we get some bites and have some fun here in the heat of the summertime. So Rayburn's tough. I wish I could tell you something different, but I'm not gonna tell you something that's not true. If you come down here, it's gonna be a struggle right now. Uh, unless you're a really good brush pile fisherman. Now I did not get out super deep today because the wind's blowing pretty good. There may be some bites out deep, but I'd rug for probably 30 or 40 minutes on some good key, you know, 14 to 24 foot stuff and did not have, had one on pump a sinker out there. So it's tough. Thanks for tuning in. I'll get some more footage up for you guys here in the next couple of days and hopefully better footage than what I just showed you. And uh, we'll go fishing again soon. Thanks guys. Let's take it to the house. Go do a little work. <laughs> Right there's 87.3 in uh, six feet of water. 